So today we get to do a 10R80 trans filter and service. This is gonna be fun. So I'm just going through, pulling brackets and stuff back, pulling them out of the way, unbolting the cooler and stuff from the bottom of it because I need to get above this cooler. So just trying to take as much loose as I possibly can. It's been a while. So yeah, yeah. I've got the hoses pinched off because I'm gonna go ahead and pull hoses while I'm here as well. Or I could drop this. Could drop the sway bar and let the sway bar hang and just let the cooler assembly and stuff hang. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm doing. Let me drop the sway bar. All right, this is where I'm at. I've got this hose crimped off in case I do want to pull it. I got the other one crimped off in case I want to pull it. I could drop this whole assembly down just by doing this connection here and that connection there, taking it off. But I don't need to do that because now I got it down enough out of the way, I can get a nice socket and stuff up in here, no problem. I took the little eight mil out up there that goes in the corner of that. So now it's all nice re resting and relaxing. Now I don't have to pull any of this stuff off or drain it to service this transmission. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and work on getting these bolts out of here to hold the shield on, pull the shield down, and then let's look and see what we got. All right, so this is where we're at. The cover's off, and now the 8 millimeter bolts and the 13 millimeters are exposed. So now what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to pull this 19 millimeter plug out of here, suck whatever's in the trans out so this sump is dry, and I'm going to start pulling those bolts off all the way around so I can drop this pan. So I'm in the process of pulling everything that I can out of the sump right now. And I've got the big 13 millimeter bolts out and I gotta go out around whenever the sump is empty and do the eight millimeters. I put little marks next to where the 13s go so I don't mess it up when I go back together, you know, one shot kind of deal. But now it's pretty open, no biggie. All right, the pan came out real nice and easy. You're gonna spill a little. I did get a little bit out of it because I went forward. I slid the pan forward then dropped it back this way and the little bit of residual that was in there came right out on my, my arm right here. Kind of coated my sleeve, but that's okay. No big deal. It's actually really clean inside here. Um, no crazy metal, just a little bit like what would be expected at this mileage. I think it's got like 80,000, 80,000 miles on it. So not too bad. Uh, fluid actually looks pretty clean for the most part and the magnet does not have a lot of debris at all at 80,000 miles so it's actually the trans and the fluid still has really good color at 80,000 so this is a this would be a great time to do all this now and, uh, and, and to prevent catastrophic catastrophic failure in the future so I'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up and then you unbolt that right there eight millimeter and then over here eight millimeter and then it slides out of the front pump right here and make sure you get the gasket and stuff to go with it even the filter looks pretty good still it's a little gray so i think the customer picked a great time to actually service it i pull this bolt out on this side and i loosen the other one i let the filter continue to drain because it's going to drain for a little bit give it a couple minutes and then pull it out the rest of the way so these seals up here that came off with the filter they're actually reusable and this one was really plush and really soft still. It wasn't hard, so I'm going to reuse that seal. That's acceptable. Um, I know a lot of you would probably say, oh, why would you even chance it? It's fine. We've done it a lot. It does, doesn't ever have a problem, so relax, people. Uh, let's go ahead and get everything back together and get everything bolted down. Put the, seal, or put the rubber seal, sleeve in first and then get your filter started. See how that just holds up there real nice and even now? Where the other one was already starting to relax. Yeah, it's pretty good. It sits right in there. Let's get it all installed. Here's something I want to point out. The short bolt that's kind of gray like this goes on the driver's side. The longer bolt, where's it at? Right here. It goes on the passenger side. You get the little push tabs for the new gasket that goes, one goes in there and one goes over there. You see the little green dot over in the far corner and it holds it in while you get your pan situated. All right, a little commentary about what I did is how I filled that up is I took my little dipstick that goes on the side of the trans, sits inside this retainer nut or fill plug nut, whatever you want to call it, port, and I stuck this down inside the hole 
I added a quart, added a quart, added a quart, nothing on the dipstick. Fourth quart, I got a little bit on the tip of it down here. Fifth quart, I was up closer to the hash mark. So I knew at that point, like right in here, at that point, I was safe to go ahead and start the truck. The truck is running right now. I'm gonna let it run and warm up, and then I'm gonna gauge where I'm at on the stick to know exactly how much more I have to put in there. So basically what it is, is you want the vehicle at operating temperature and you got A and B. And it says as long as the fluid level is within the B range, which is this lower range right here, you're good. It's full. Now after letting it warm up a little bit and coming back and looking, I had to add two more quarts to it to even get it at the beginning line of B. I don't know if you can see where the fluid comes in right there. And that's that bottom section of hashes. So I'm going to let it warm up a little bit more. The fluid level is right here, right at the first line. Let it warm up a little bit more and recheck it again. Alright, it's been running another 10 minutes and you can see it's right there in the first line. Now I just added about another quarter of a quart and I'm right in the middle of B right here. So I'm done at this point. That's it, that's all I needed. Essentially, that's your pan drop and your filter change. But, actually I was wrong on the mileage. This only has 49,000 miles. That's why everything looks good and if you notice I preached you guys a lot about servicing these transmissions, the 10R60s and the 10R80s at 50,000, much sooner. This one has 49,000 some odd miles on it. So this customer, which is a subscriber here, took heed to my advice, and that's why the fluid still looks kind of good, and that's why it's just starting to show just a little bit of metal on the magnet. That's why it's the perfect time to get it in here while you're ahead of schedule instead of leaving lifetime fluid in it. Now after running another five minutes, we are at the top of B. We don't want to go any higher than that. That's optimal. All right, I've let it run another five minutes just to make sure everything's completely warm again. Right at the top of B. I don't want to be any higher than that. I'm in the perfect range. Time to cap this off, test drive the vehicle, and get it back to the customer. All right, this is the part number for the, for the filter. HL3Z7A098 Alpha. This is the fluid you need. It's a Mercon ULV for the 10R80. And the part number for it is XT12QULV. The system holds 13.1 quarts, so however you want to service it, it's up to you. And this is the gasket for the pan. hl 3 z 7 a191B While I was here I went ahead and uh, resealed this front pinion as well because it was leaking but You can see now it's nice and dry and cleaned off put a new seal new nut um, New uh, The strap the straps with the bolts through to go through the eccentric um, The bolt kit is 7L1Z 4B496C you need two of them. If you want to get the crush washer and nut, you don't need the crush washer. 8R3Z4 Charlie 121 Alpha. And the seal is 2L1Z3 Nancy 134 Alpha Alpha. I don't have a walkthrough on that right now. I got to get this guy on the road, so I figured I'd share with you guys. If you're interested in getting parts for it, that's what you need for your front diff. The other stuff I've already walked you through, and the front diff is 7585. Um, XY75W85QL is the part number for it.
All right, I'm out of here. Time to get this customer his vehicle back. Well, the job went well. I test drove the vehicle for eight miles after the fluid service. Everything shifted great and there was no issues at all. The customer came and picked up his vehicle and uh, me and him talked for a little bit and just kind of hung out and visited with each other. And uh, I really appreciated his message to me by saying that he he really appreciates the, the work that we do at the dealership and he feels like uh, that whenever he comes there, he said, I just want you to know that I feel like I have my own personal mechanic when I come here and I really appreciate that. You guys really make me feel welcome here and that means a lot to me. So that meant a lot to me. Take care. Y'all have a great day. Be blessed.